Good morning, my friends. It's Monday again. I'm back with another three coloring books that I want to show you. This time, all three of them have been thrifted. And I will show you the reason why I bought them at the thrift store. They have, some of them have been colored in slightly. But, um, and they were very cheap. I think I paid no more than 50 cents to a dollar for them. For one of them. And... I think they have, especially this nature one, uh, I loved how every single page has some green in it. I thought that was so neat. I've never seen that before, actually. So, every page has um, is unique in its own sort of way. This one right here with the bird, I will definitely be using. So, even if you buy them for I don't know like I said I, I purchased them for really cheap and even if I use only a few pages out of here that I want to use for my journaling that's fine to me because I didn't pay much for them right like this tree over here they have started coloring it whoever owned the book so I can either finish coloring it or just use this as a template for a different tree um, there's so many different ideas that you can use I love these uh, flowers in here butterflies this of course I will most likely not be using and they are two-sided so you have to kind of pick and choose what you like and what you want to use but I always get excited when I find a good coloring book at the thrift store and even if you don't want to cut like I love the trees in here even if you don't want to cut them up and use them for yourself, you if you have grandchildren or nieces and nephews, they might like to color in there. So if you buy them cheap at a thrift store, you know, it's perfectly fine to just let the kids color in there. And here I would just fussy cut the items out that I want. And then um, if the grandchildren don't want to color in here or have them, I will just recycle them. And here I thought this would be really neat to cut out all the leaves to use in a fall or a summer uh, journal. As well as these birds. I thought these owls were super, super cute. Love that. <laughs> Here's a really big owl. That bird looks pretty proud standing there like that. And the butterflies here, uh, they colored already. So I can either, it kind of looks to me like a child would have colored them. Although they stayed actually pretty good in the lines. But so do a couple of my grandkids do as well. But aren't they colorful and beautiful? I think I would use them in my journals. Here too, uh, looks like a path in the woods. You could cut this out and use this more beautiful leaves and butterflies and flowers love that here again this coloring has isn't as good whoever owned this book um, i may not even use this at all i probably would yeah i probably would use the bird on this side it's the ocean with some waves don't know why they would be green on ocean waves. But however, <clears throat> that is how this book uh, comes. It came like that. Like, I don't, I don't think the people that own it did it that way. It's, uh, it's a factory like that. So that's kind of interesting. Big turtle. And some seashells and a fish. more seashells and birds I love that beautiful and a horse some bugs these bugs I might possibly use in a summer project Could use them in a gardening journal how was your weekend I hope you're all doing well love this big rooster Love that. I can just picture me coloring this very colorful. Oh, he's got some 
pears and some apples like that that's beautiful the dragonflies could definitely cut that out and use that some more bugs leaves feathers love this woodsy theme here this looks like spring blooms to me oh my goodness look at that oh that's so cute ain't that cute oh i love that nice big elephant another tree birds well that's kind of cool could use them for a zoo a scrapbooking page or journal but yeah I will most likely just take my favorite pages out and then either let my grandkids color in the rest or recycle it and I'll show you the birds and the butterfly one Again, it comes from the thrift store, so some of the pages have been colored in. I actually don't even mind this. I think it looks pretty. Beautiful butterflies. You can use this whole folded page in a junk journal, or you could fussy cut the butterflies out. Love this bird water fountain here. There's actually quite a bit colored in here. My goodness. Oh, I love that. It's got the little ones on its back. Super cute. I wonder if every page is colored. Like some geese flying up above. This one I actually started coloring. I thought that was very beautiful. Beautiful. And I love this one. I think I'm going to most likely uh, fussy cut the teacups out and the tea kettle, kettle and then also the birds as well. I thought that would look really nice on a uh, some kind of ephemera or junk journal. A whole bunch of butterflies coming out of a hat. Birds and fish. More birds. Butterflies. Well, that's pretty. I love these vases with flowers. They would look very pretty fussy cut out. Butterflies. Well, that's kind of neat. I don't remember seeing this page, but looks like a whole bunch of birds that built nests on top of rooftops. That's kind of cool. Oh my goodness. Those parakeets are just absolutely beautiful. Lots of birds here. More birds. Oh, that's cool. Love that. pretty birds I love this one with all the different hats wouldn't that just be fun to cut out and use there's a big butterfly on this hat oh, that is so cool I love that got one two three four hats that I could cut out Nice big owl. And then, they, of course, they have them all in a little photo here as well. 
but uh, yeah, that is a great idea to do to use used coloring books, thrifted coloring books for uh, using in your junk journals or whatever you may. If you scrapbook, you can use them for scrapbooking too. And this one is flowers to color. And what I love about this one, again, it has the left side already colored and you can just copy and color the right side. But what my thinking was, because I have so many coloring books to color, um, I think I might just fussy cut the colored side out and let my grandkids just kind of color the other side. Look at those orchids, aren't they? They're just beautiful. I think that's what I'm going to do is I'll just fussy cut the left side out. Look at the hollyhocks. My goodness, does that remind me of my mom-in-law? She's long past. She's gone over a decade now already, but she loved her hollyhocks. She always had quite a few of them, and that always reminds me of her. My mom loved them too, but I don't remember my mom planting them. Not in Canada anyway that I can recall. My mom had her heart always set on roses. Oh, she loved roses, so... Here it looks like they attempted already to copy that side, but I think I'll just fussy cut this out, this as well. Well, that's pretty. Oh my goodness, look at those pansies. My mom loved pansies as well. <gasps> You know what, if I was to say, I think maybe pansies would be my mom's color, my mom's flower that she had. She loved a lot of them, but that she had her dear heart set on them. I think the pansy always spoke to her the most, whereas in my mom-in-law, I think would have been more with the hollyhocks. Isn't that funny how certain flowers remind you of certain people? For myself, I would say it is roses as well as uh, daisies and um, uh, what are they called? Oh, these are pretty too. Beautiful. I don't even remember the other flower knot I love so much. Daffodils. There you go. But aren't those just beautiful, beautiful, bright, pretty pages? So yeah, this video I wanted to record more or less just to show you and talk about what you can do with thrifted coloring books. And let's say uh, a page that you really love is colored but not colored very pretty but you love the picture itself. You can always redraw it if you're really good at drawing or tracing and still use that photo. Um, I don't know what the rules are about using pages from coloring books to put in journals to sell now I would actually love to know that so if any of you are watching and you know this please let me know down below because that would actually be very good to know because I am planning on making um, journals next year for selling and that would be really cool to know that Anyway, that is my three coloring books for today. I have, I think, one more set of tropical animal nature ones to go through. And then I have two sets of Christmas ones. And then I will be done, you guys. Uh, then you might, you don't, you don't have to like dread, oh no, it's Monday, she's got coloring books again. <laughs> uh, but I love flipping through them anyway, whether you you'll like it or not. I, I hope you like it. I really do hope you like it and enjoy it. But thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.